Hey guys, Carla here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am cash stuffing our first and second paycheck because I know I didn't do the last paycheck because as you guys know, it's my first week with Mia being home from daycare again. Like she doesn't go to daycare anymore. We just had to cut some costs and stuff like that. If you guys watch my vlogs, you guys already know the tea on that. So that was my first week and I honestly had less time than I thought and just adjusting to it was rough. But we're getting back into it. This week was a lot better. I was also very tired in that first week. But this week, we're adjusting well and we're sleeping well, which is great. Very briefly, I'll put the timestamp here where I actually start the cash stuff. Because I always like to, you know, tell you guys how's life going. And I always chat with you guys in the beginning of these videos. And just update you guys on things. So that's my update for not being here last week but look guys i did my own nails look at it it's so pretty it's not perfect like it's already chipping because it was too long for me even though i did the medium rounded one so i cut it and then i cut it after i painted it so it made it chip and these are gel x nails and i honestly don't like the color on me i think it's not the pink that i like i like the warmish pink not the more purplish pink um i just don't like like it on my nails on my hands like i like it right now it looks really pretty on camera but i just don't like it but like some of them are like weirdly done and then some of them are sideways especially my pointy fingers are done sideways because i was panicking but i think next time around i'm gonna try it like press on nails like i'll design my own gel x nails and then i'll put them on like press on nails with a glue because this one while i really like how good it feels and like how it's on my nails and i feel like i can grip real good and like do my job real good um i couldn't design it because it was really hard for me because you know I'm, I'm this is my dominant hand and this is my non-dominant hand so it was a struggle and i really want to do some nail art i've done nail art before when um like in high school i would do it with regular nail polish and i really enjoyed doing nail art and i feel like i would enjoy it if i could control it better and also i'm kind of scared of getting contact dermatitis from the gel x because i am not a professional so because you're not supposed to do it yourself because it can get like if you don't cure the gel enough you can get contact dermatitis from doing this yourself and i don't want to risk that so i want to learn and see what i can do with the gel x and then because of what i didn't like about press on nails is they were really thin like really thin and like they would always come off but i mean i feel like the press on part is it'll always come off and the part that it was so thin this is really thick especially with the top coat so i won't feel that because i have a lot of press ons but they're just really thin because they're from kiss and they're not handmade or whatever because those are really cheaply made um but the handmade ones I can control the thickness and then I can also just keep popping it on and I can also control the sizing and all of that. And what I didn't like about acrylic, aside from it being expensive, is that it thinned out my natural nails too much after I take it off. Like it's just so soft and like brittle and like I feel like it's going to break anytime soon. Um, so I really don't like the feeling of acrylic after I take them off and I can't keep putting acrylic on because they're just so expensive even for a fill. So I think this one, buying my own materials and just doing press-ons, I feel like I can achieve all of the things that I want except for the part that it's just going to keep popping off if I try to press-on method. Maybe I'll do this method every now and then. But the popping off part, I mean, I'll just glue it back on. It's no problem. That's my little spiel about my nails. But I love it. It's so pretty. I heard it lasts a long time so I'm so excited and I could feel like it can last a long time and when I cut it short I felt a lot better than it, it was longer so I'm meant for a short nails I don't like long nails but they are pretty when they're all painted and nicely done anyways we're gonna cash stuff now and I'm gonna cash stuff it in a way that I'm not gonna combine the for example if I have 374 for what do you call this for rent i'm not going to combine it like seven something i'll do a 370 of increments because that's how i had my cash breakdown card because i had the money from last week already taken out i just didn't film it and then i i got the money from yesterday so we wouldn't touch it so i just didn't get to film it because i was so busy like i said but i think we're adjusting well now and we're finding our ground and our system and it's been just it's been okay, I think. 
But here we have our empty envelopes. We have rent. So for rent, we have, we're all gonna put this for rent anyway. So we have 600 and then 50 each, right? And then 220s, cause it's 370 is how much we usually put in there. So instead of having like 700 in 100, um, I just did it like this. It'll be easier for me because like I said, we already pulled the money from paycheck number one. We have one, two, three, four, five, six hundred, fifty, seven hundred, twenty, and forty. We have 740 here for the first two weeks. And our friend is actually looking for houses. He's been looking for houses and he put an offer for a house, for a five bedroom house with a basement. So we're gonna see how that goes if they're gonna accept the offer and whatnot, but we're actually already starting to pack stuff because if they already start moving in there, we can already start moving in there as well to make the moving process lighter on us so we don't have to like all haul it out at the end of September or during September, the stuff that we don't use. You know, we're gonna go ahead and put it there and we're also gonna start planning out the like layout of everything for our because they're gonna buy it as soon as they accept the offer. It's my friend's parents, it's not really him. Yeah, it's my friend's parents and they're getting a house for him and for us to be rented there. And they also require, because there's also another guy that's renting because it's five bedrooms. So it's gonna be five people, including Mia. And it's gonna be cheaper on rent. I mean, pretty cheap. It's like, I think 800 is what we're gonna pay. A lot less than what we're paying right now but we are gonna pay the first month's rent and the last month's rent up front so that's gonna be sixteen hundred dollars so pretty close to what we're paying right now for just the first kind of like a deposit so after that it'll be 800 which is gonna be 200 every week not 370 and then utilities are gonna get cut as well and they're not charging us for property taxes it's not up to us to do property taxes and all of that. We just have to have the utilities and whatnot. So I think it's a really great deal and I'm so happy and I'm so excited. We're gonna use the pool here as much as we can because we're not gonna have a pool. So yeah, I'm excited to move and it'll be just a lot of fun to have all of our friends there because I feel like we're gonna be the ones that are gonna host some of the parties. Um, but rent is done. Then we have car, which is $50 every week. So we're gonna do two $50 bills. So we got 50 and 100 here. And we're gonna be able to pay out more of our stuff. I've also started selling my stuff as I pack things. I'm decluttering, I'm selling stuff. Like my Funko Pops, I'm selling it to a majority of it. I'm only keeping like 30. I still buy dolls and I still want to collect them, but I'm only collecting one line and I'm also collecting certain ones only. I'm not gonna like go ham on it and go crazy. I'll pace myself, wait for sales, and um, just really treat myself still, but not overspend like I did last year, of course. And I'm gonna sell some of my dolls as well. Most of them are in box and I'm gonna sell my doubles, my duplicates, cause I'm keeping them in box, all of my collection. Just some stuff about me while I cash stuff. I hope you guys don't mind. Electric, we're putting 35, so two sets of 35. We have 20, another 20, 10, 10, 30, okay, 35. So we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70. Um, we have 74 electric for this two weeks that we have. Wi-Fi is getting 18, so 10, 15, 18. We have 10, 20, 25, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have 36 for Wi-Fi that we are going to put away. And like I said, utilities are going to be split into four. And so will the, the rent will be split into four. And we're going to pay 50%. They're paying 25% each. That's the agreement. Insurance is getting 32. 20, 30, 20, 
32. So I feel like we're making some money moves, guys. This year is gonna be it for us, and it's gonna go well. We're gonna pay off some stuff, but we're gonna do a garage sale for the stuff that's not really valuable or just like doesn't sell or whatever. And so we can have cash for that just to have fun and we'll be with family which is pretty great because their house is in a corner in like a busy corner so i feel like it'll get a lot of people here we have 20 40 50 60 1 2 3 and 4 we have 64 on insurance and i'm also gonna make nia's room sanrio theme because i have a lot of sanrio stuff that i don't really want to get rid of quite yet and her room She's kind of getting bigger. I want to make it like Sanrio stuff. And like I was going to think about Disney theme. But I'm like I don't want to buy stuff for her room when we have stuff. Like you know it doesn't have to have a theme of course. But I also want to make it cute. Like my little Hello Kitty mirror is going to go in her room. And I'm just going to make it really cute. And like each side will have a different character. Like a Hello Kitty character. Um, my Melody character. A Karomi character and a Cinnamon Roll character. So that's the plan for her room or maybe we'll just all mix it up We'll see because I have a lot of Sanrio if you guys didn't know a lot of you guys also send me Sanrio stuff. So I'll have a lot of those. I'll still sell some of my Sanrio stuff that I don't think she'll use But like my plushies and whatnot will put it in her room. My phone is getting 27 I love Sanrio and I don't want to throw it away or you know sell it right now and it's just so tedious to sell small little things but if I have to I will but here we have 20 40 45 50 1 2 3 and 54 for my phone like that and then my husband's phone is getting two sets of 20s because we put $20 there every week for his phone subscription will get six dollars okay we have 5 10 11 and 12 for subscriptions we did cancel Hulu um, I'll only probably go back to Hulu if like the next season of euphoria comes out if ever that comes out and then Netflix, like if Stranger Things season 5 comes out, which I heard it got, you know, what is that called? It got moved again because the writers are going on strike or, well, that's what my husband said. Um, a lot of the writers are going on strike. Gas is getting 55, so two sets of 55 right here. So we have 50, 100, 5, and 10 dollars for gas. And next month is Nia's birthday. I'm saving my Patreon money to celebrate her birthday. We are going to Rigby's, which is the water park. And we're going to rent a canopy and have our friends and family there. Mm -hmm. 